Hi, friends. One of my subscribers noticed that I have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel, but I don't have exactly a plan how to treat acid reflex. And you're absolutely right. So I created a road plan for you. I think easy to follow. So you can go step by step by step by step and actually identify your acid reflex, identify the causes, and then it's easy to fix. And here is what we are going to do. We will start with GERD asthma and uh, cardiac problem differential diagnosis. And we will end up with solving problems in small intestine, pancreatic insufficiency, and low bile production. Let's go. Step one, you have to ask yourself question. What is that? Is this acid reflex or is it cardiovascular system problem, or maybe it's allergy and asthma, or maybe enlarged thyroid gland. If you're not sure, if you don't still have, if you don't have a diagnosis, so you go to your primary, you do electrocardiogram and cardiovascular system is eliminated. Then you do the laboratory testing for allergy and asthma and thyroid gland, and you eliminate those. And what you left is this digestive tract system. Why you need to do that? Because, and this is the busy picture, but you will understand why. In the chest cavity, we don't have only esophagus. Here is the stomach, and here is in the chest cavity, we have esophagus. The great pipe, gray pipe, is pulmonary system. The red is aorta, and the heart is overlays here. So you have digestive system, cardiovascular system, pulmonary system, and here on the neck, you have a thyroid gland. Sometimes people will complain. They say, because there is a kind of pressure here on my esophagus. So the food does not go easy. It could be acid reflex or it could be enlarged thyroid. So that also needs to be tested. And all of that in cage, it's in the rib cage. And the ribs and nerves are running here. So you need to eliminate and press, by, press nerves and see maybe nerve compression is here. If you're watching this, a video, you probably don't have a heart attack. But it's possible that you have acid reflex and allergy or allergy or, or both. So please see this video, environmental allergies versus GERD. So finally, you eliminate heart attack, you eliminate allergy and asthma, you eliminate thyroid gland, and you have acid reflex, you have digestive system problem. You go to step two, you need to confirm that uh, why you, you need to do a, a, a gastroscopy. The reason I said there, because you need to eliminate H. pylori and hiatal hernia. If there is a hiatal hernia on gastroscopy, I have a video. Uh, please make sure to understand the video, watch the video, understand and how to fix it. If H. pylori is positive, here is the some ideas in this video, how to fix it. So you confirm that you don't have H. pylori or hiatal hernia. So what you left is stomach here. Then you go to step three and you ask your question, yourself a question. Why do I have an acid reflex? And here I have a video, eight common causes of acid reflex. As you watch the video, you try to identify what problem do I have? Do I eat too fast? Do I swallow big pieces? Do I drink water? and you identify several six or seven problems. So you go to step four and you start solving them. In step four, you are thinking, I am drinking water with my meal. Watch this video and understand why you cannot do that. You, you, you say, I have a constipation for many years. Watch this video and see how magnesium treatment will work for you. I eat too fast and I eat big portions. Watch this video and understand how you stretch low esophageal sphincter, holiday overeating. You, you uh, eat, now you eat slowly, you chew your food, time to discontinue your PPIs. You have to understand you cannot take them more than four, eight weeks maximum. The moment you discontinue them, you back to square one. You have to figure out why do I have an acid reflex? And by the way, I have videos how to discontinue PPIs and what you can take instead of PPIs. Please watch this video, Tums and other, and other anti-acids. And there is a part one, part two, and part three. Now, step six, you have to change your diet. You have to simplify your diet. 
very, very much. This video, what you can eat and watch that when you have acid reflex. This videos, this one and this one, what you cannot eat. You have to watch and understand why. Change your diet. In step number six, if you have a silent reflux, often this postnasal drip, irritation of the esophagus, gastritis, inflammation in the stomach created by food sensitivity and the most common food sensitivity, dairy. Eliminate dairy products out of your life. You eliminate dairy products, you still have acid reflux. What you do, you think about that. Here is esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine. Maybe I don't create enough hydrochloric acid to digest food. As a result, food goes up. What you do, you learn on my playlist. There are videos here about the digestive tract. You learn everything that you can about digestive tract, including why do you produce hydrochloric acid? You need to digest food. Then you go to step eight and identify, do I have low or normal production of hydrochloric acid? Here you do a baking soda test. When you do baking soda test, you identify that I have a low production of hydrochloric acid. I have video how to fix low production of hydrochloric acid. Please watch that. If you realize that it is not a problem of stomach, you have a normal production of hydrochloric acid, then you have to look further in the digestive tract into small intestine and into large intestine. You go to step nine and you try to solve the problem with small intestine, pancreas, pancreatic insufficiency, and liver, which produce bile here. And as you do that, you please watch this video, number eight, stomach hydrochloric acid production control, where you will learn how other organs in, that contribute and small intestine, how they make sure that right environment created in small intestine below the stomach. So the um, valve can open and the food will go down rather than food going from stomach up. You have to open pillars and move food. And for that, you have to fix pancreas, uh, liver, and the small intestine. Okay, if you still cannot figure out how to act, then you contact me and I will take you as a whole, as a health coach and um, we will start to solve your problems. When I take you as a health coach, we will have appointment with you and for hour and a half, we will sit together and we will talk. I will ask you a lot of questions. Be ready to answer them. And you will ask me a lot of questions. And by the end of that, we will create a plan for you. And you start to execute this plan. I hope, guys, this video is helpful. Please let me know, like, subscribe. Bye-bye for now.